Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Danko R and today I would like to talk about Luna X. Luna X is a liquid staking token from Stata Labs. It launched today and in this video I would like to talk about Stata Labs, how Luna X works and then I would like to take you with me into the live system to mint some Luna X to talk about some APRs and also additional farming opportunities. Thank you very much for your crazy support, specifically last Saturday where you completely destroyed the like button in my video talking about how you can use your Luna to farm more Luna. I'm leaving a link up there if you haven't seen that one. But also in this video, this is no financial advice. If you want to ape into Luna X, if you want to farm some additional SD tokens, feel free to do so. I really hope that you can get some insights from this video. And with that out of the way, let's start talking about Stata Labs. So for me, Stata Labs is a next-gen automated staking optimizer. You might say optimizer, why, right? Staking is straightforward, easy. You might even want to say boring. But think about it and the devil is always in the details, right? You need to select the right validator, talking about commissions, uptime, slashing events, uh, and also the rewards, right? Auto compounding, specifically on Terra, not that straightforward, right? If you check out your rewards on Terra Station for staking, you're getting a plethora of different stable coins. You see that the beauty of proof of stake because you're really getting as a reward the part of that the validators are just validating the different transaction, be it UST, KRT, also maybe Luna. But for you to auto compound that, that's a lot of work, right? You need to change all those stable coins back to Luna and put them into your stake. And let's not even talk about airdrops, right? If you want to claim your Anchor airdrop that you are basically entitled to because you're staking Luna, you need to go to Anchor, same for Mirror, Pylon, Nexus, you're getting the point, right? And that's where Stata Labs comes in because they're solving all of those issues. They are doing due diligence on the different validators that they're working together with. They're putting them into ba uh, baskets or buckets. So it's, for example, you have a community validators, you have different kind of validators. They're auto compounding all your Luna rewards into native Luna and putting it into your stake. And last but not least, one transactions to really get all your different airdrops Great, and thank you for saving me a lot of fees, Stata Labs, with the part of Luna I'm staking right now with you. That's why I call them a staking optimizing solution, right? Which is also interesting is that they're right now going into the feed of liquid staking. That's Luna X. I'm coming back to that in a second. And long term, I think Stata Labs is interesting from the terms of that they're probably going soon cross chain, right? We have other proof of stake assets like Solana, like Ethereum, Atom. And once they go there, you can still use Stata to really organize all your different staking assets. Now, I think Stata has a very interesting infrastructure. It's very modular. And if you want to learn more about Stata, I'm having also an interview with the founder, Amit. Shout out to you, Amit. I'm a big fan of him and his solution because you really feel his professionalism out of his legacy work before that. That's why I'm having also big stakes of that. Long term, I think Stata is helping the ecosystem as a whole to onboard a lot of investors and also the mainstream, because let's be honest, we are DGENs, we want to have 300% APR, but staking is the very strong possibility for also the mainstream to just outperform every other TradeFile solution that we're having out there with 10, 12%, whatever that might be. But we're here to talk about Luna X as a liquid staking token. If you have seen my video on Saturday, right, talking about the different opportunities of how you can farm Luna, you're seeing here again the slide. It's about that I break it down to Luna staking. That's what we'll talk about in a second. Luna pooling and some Luna magic on top of that. But today we are talking about Luna X and staking opportunities. I broke it down on Saturday into three different assets, right? For me, it's the classic staking. I explained that just a few seconds ago. But then you have liquid staking solutions that I call for myself, right? This is no official term, enhanced staking and alternative staking. Because there are different things how they are handling this. Luna X is for me the class of enhanced staking. In this class, you are auto compounding based on native Luna. And you're having also the opportunity with this liquid token to do other stuff, right? And putting it down like on landing protocols or so forth. Alternative staking, you're not getting the yield from the staking in Luna but you can still use this because it's a liquid staking solution in other protocols. So let's break this now down to really understand how also Luna X works. Let's make the example for the alternative staking of B Luna in the Anchor protocol, but we could also use N Luna from Nexus protocol. So what is happening there is that basically you are coming with your Luna, right? You are going, for example, on the Anchor protocol, there you can issue B Luna. B Luna is now a staked version of Luna, but what is happening is that all your staking rewards are right now issued in UST. If you would now 
put your B Luna as a borrow position and lend against it or borrow against your own collateral, kind of this yield of UST which is created goes into anchor. And that's how the earned side of 20% is basically also paid out. If you would hold B Luna in your wallet, you would see that you would get paid out this UST. You can just maybe make it as a test. You can go on anchor protocol, go on the bond side, and you will see there that you can then get your rewards out in UST. Now, the beauty, of course, about B Luna is that the price of B Luna is always packed. Well, it should be. I mean, in the different liquidity pools, like on TerraSwap, sometimes you have a D pack where you have an arbitrage opportunity. Let's not talk about that. But usually, Luna and B Luna have the same price because all the rewards are paid out separately. Same for N Luna or Nexus, but there the rewards are paid out in Psi. Now, the topic of which I call is enhanced staking is changing the game. The idea of Luna X is, so what if we have now the principle of Luna, right? So this is, let's say the staked Luna, but the, the rewards that we're getting out there because it's staked, we're putting it into the token itself. And now you see that the value of Luna X as a token is accruing over Luna. That's why it's literally deep packing in a positive way because it's getting more and more value by still having the full price exposure of the principal in here. That's also how AUST works, right? So AUST is, let's say, an auto compounding asset. So you have UST as a principal and then it's accruing value. That's why you're seeing that AUST is just getting higher and higher away from UST, right? Right now, I don't know, are we around, I think, 1.2? Um, dollars for one AUST and that's the same topic that Luna X is right now here doing. Now if we have this opportunity we have still the price exposure but on top of that we're putting rewards and we're even auto compounding those rewards so very interesting. So you have an auto compounding in this token in there because Stata is putting all the rewards all the time on the token. You have the price appreciation also uh, besides Luna, right? I mean, it's basically positively packing away from Luna, but if Luna goes up in price, the Luna X token goes also up in price. You have still all your airdrops available, right? So if you're holding Luna X in your wallet, Stata Labs is doing different snapshots, and then you can go on that platform and still get your airdrops, which is, I think, very, very cool. And then last but not least, it's a liquid token, right? You can borrow against it, you can put it into liquidity pools, how you can also do B Luna and with N Luna, and that's the full power of having liquid staking opportunities. So talking about now the opportunities which you could do with Luna X, and that's why we're really going into the Degen territory. As said before, with B Luna, you probably hopefully can see it also in the future that you can take your Luna X as a liquid token and put it on different lending markets, be it in the future probably Mars, or edge protocol, then you have your Luna X, which is appreciating also in price because all your lead, uh, yield of the staking is going in there and you can borrow against it, right? Super cool. And then you can do whatever with that leverage position. You can maybe go and buy more Luna or buy more Luna X and then go back, lend more against it, the typical just say loop that we also know from Anchor Protocol. On the other side, I mean, if it's a liquid token, you also need a pool on the different AMMs. So there will be also right now on Stata a Luna, Luna X pool, which is then incentivized in this case by SD tokens. We will see that in a second, which can be also very interesting for you because you have basically a stable pool, uh, which is of course not 100% stable, but very close because you can exactly see how much Luna X is going up in value. So the impermanent loss is not completely crazy. We exactly know how much the price of Luna X will go up in a year. So you can pre-calculate it, how much you need in rewards of the yield of Luna X, but also of the SD tokens in the pool to outperform this impermanent loss. And then last but not least, why I like Luna X, because it's also opening up the opportunity to become a true eco booster as B Luna X. If you're saying, well, Luna X is already complicated and what are you talking about? And now B Luna X, what does it mean? Well, I've shown you kind of what B Luna is and how it works, right? That basically you are taking the yield to support Anchor Protocol. And we have talked about that X Luna is basically taking the yield to appreciate itself as a token. What would you say now if we put those two ideas together and you say, how should that work? Well, what Stata Labs right now is working on is basically instead of taking the yield out of the staking and putting it into uh, the Luna X, they're taking the yield, trying to increase it even more as a yield optimizer on Apollo DAO or Nexus, wherever. And then they're putting the part that is outperforming not into the 
Luna X token, but into Anchor Protocol if they issue B Luna X. And this is so cool, right? This is the perfect DGEN play plan while still supporting the ecosystem because you put it into Anchor, we are still helping out to really have those 20% on the earn side, which is boosting so much of the ecosystem. You still have your auto compounding staking rewards and you can borrow against your asset, man. This is like, like a dream come true as a lunatic, right? You can do everything. You can leverage, you can take benefit of staking and you are still helping the full ecosystem. So be Luna X is mind blowing. I'm really looking forward and I would like to hear what you think about B Luna X in the comments below. And with that out of the way, I would say let's just jump into the system and check out how to just issue some Luna X, right? So I'm right now here on the Stata page. Let's maybe go one step back and really go on statalabs.com. You see here launch app. And if you go on launch app, you're getting here the opportunity to either go into the typical staking pools, right? Because you do not need to issue this liquid token Luna X. Uh, you can do that, you can, but also typically stake, or you have this liquid solution down here. Let's quickly just go into the whole topic of normal staking because I haven't shown that before on my channel. So what you see here is the different buckets, blue chip, community or airdrop plus right here are specifically different validators that are having also an own airdrop for everything they're doing. But if you click here on community, you will also see kind of which validators are in there, right? There are my friends from Terabyte, uh, PFC, shout out to you, IN, we have SmartStake in here, Luna Orbit, Marte Cloud, so all big names, which I'm also very grateful what they are doing for the ecosystem. If you want to contribute here into them as a validator, you just need to put in here the amount you want to do. You can then deposit and you see right now here, the APR is 10.47. So usually it should be slightly higher than the typical Terra staking APR because you're also auto compounding it. And if you then want to go into your portfolio, I think because I haven't with this Danko account not done it yet, you would see there that there are also the area of the airdrops where you can take them away, right? So right now we are in the farming event, so you would not get the APR really in native Luna tokens, you are right now farming um, Stata tokens. So if you just want exposure to Luna, you need to wait a few more weeks until the farming is over. We are right now at 1.3 million farmed SD token, 3 million is the goal. And then, well, here is getting more information on that. Usually, I guess you would see down here um, in the My Holdings or Manage, and uh, My Holdings, you see down here the airdrops, exactly, right? And right now it's everything swapped for Stata token because we're in the community farming event. But we're here to talk about liquid staking Luna X. For that, you click down here on pools and then you see here my Luna X, the APY, and right now the TVL, almost 400,000 Luna that people issued here. So what do you need to do now if you want to have Luna X, right? For that, you just enter here the amount of Luna that you want to get in Luna X. And you see here for 2.5 Luna, I'm getting 2.49. Um, Luna X because why right now we are already accruing no value right and putting the all the rewards into the Luna X pool that's why it will be less and less and less let's do this here in favor for two Luna and then I click here on stake then you see the Terra station just opens as usually I put down here my password let's save it for now I post the transaction and then I will get now in a few seconds my Luna X. It's really my first time I'm also doing here. So I'm doing it here with you. I was preparing the video. I didn't do it before. I'm really experiencing it here with you for the first time. So let's see what happened now here. If I probably go into my wallet, we see that for sure the Luna went down and then I probably now can add a token and then let's go here for Luna X. And there you see that one, right? I just click on add. And once I click on add, it probably, you see, I have 1.99 Luna X token, and then I have now still 3.38. So what will happen now, the amount of Luna X will always stay the same, but the price will appreciate because the yield is going in there, right? So what can you do now? I mean, you can expect over a year an APY of almost 11% in pure Luna. Amazing, so great solution. You could take now this Luna X and once hopefully Mars and Edge goes live, you can borrow against it. If B Luna X would go live, you could do this on Anchor Protocol. But right now, you can also get some SD tokens on top. For that, you can add here liquidity, right? So there is the liquidity pool because you can just basically swap the Luna X tokens and get them. That's why they are liquid, right? So let's just provide some liquidity here. 
because that's interesting. So for that, it's pushing us over to TerraSwap because it's a typical TerraSwap pool, maybe in the future also Astroport. So we're providing here now Luna and down here we need to select Luna X. There it is. You could also just check out the contract, but it seems to be that one. Uh, of course, I need to connect my wallet here quickly. It's connected and there you see the amounts. I would usually like to go over here and for that probably I cannot change it now. Yes, so that are really going here. Two should be, yeah, now we have an exchange rate. It has to be a little bit less, that's just to 1.5. I should have selected Luna X up here and Luna down there on TerraSol, I cannot exchange those stuff. Yeah, let's see now also in the future how solutions like um, Astroport are improving that one here. So I'll provide now liquidity and then we probably need to stake it over at Stata. Let's do this together here quickly. I'm putting it down here, it's processing. We're seeing in a minute the transaction. Running, 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 probably cutting it out here for you if it takes too long. We'll see you back in a minute. Well, it's not needed in a minute because it's already done. Uh, we go back here and then let's see if the added liquidity appears here. For that, I just refresh. Let's see if this works one here. You haven't made any withdrawal yet. So right now, I mean, I haven't, how do you see it here, right? 1.5 Luna X to 1.44 Luna. And now I'm getting also my SD rewards. One thing that I want to tell you now before you run away is if you have already put something into the normal staking pools and you say, whoa, I think the liquid staking is my way to go. Be careful because if you would withdraw now from those pools here, your positions, first of all, you go into the typical unstaking route of 21 days and second, you would lose all your farming rewards. So really kind of think about it. What's your way forward if you want to do that or if you just want to test out a little bit liquid staking because the real power of liquid staking would start be seen once mass and edge and all this kind of stuff goes live. That's all. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in Luna X. You've probably heard it. I'm pretty bullish on Stata Labs. I think it's a great team. They're doing it very professional, helping us to put more uh, institutional investors into the ecosystem. And I would really like to know if you go forward with Luna X. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye bye.